Today's video is sponsored by the incredible positivity I've got from my last video. Let's say that you have this super complicated motion graphic setup. If you want to animate a parameter, you use a transform node, activate the keyframe button for the slider that you want, in my case, the size. You go through the timeline and adjust the size slider to set your animation keyframes and you end up with something like this. Sometimes I don't want my animation to gradually go from point A to point B. Instead, maybe I want it to hold the first position until the next keyframe and then change. More like a stop motion animation. What I was doing until now was adding another keyframe before and setting it to the value of the previous keyframe so it holds the position. It kind of worked for me, but it gets really messy when I have many keyframes to work with, especially when I need to change some values after. Of course, this was not because of my limited skills. It was the developer's fault. But I found out that if you open the spline editor, check the node with the keyframes, hit this zoom to fit button so you can see all of your keyframes, Select all of them with this button, and here is this super complicated step. Go to this button here that says step in, or just hit command plus I, and done. Now you can finally master your motion graphic skills. 